everyone welcome back so in this video we'll be talking about network security groups and application security groups so saying that what is network security group and what is application security group so coming to the nsg it is used to enforce and control the network traffic whereas if you talk about asg which is application security group it is just an object reference within the nsg so if you talk about the features coming to nsg it's uh, it controls the inbound and outbound traffic at a subnet level whereas the application security group is at interface level so this is one of the difference uh, between these two and uh, coming to the lab scenario in this we will be having two different uh, groups of servers which is web servers and the management servers so if you talk about these two so basically a web server is nothing but it, ac it accepts and fulfills the request from the client uh, for static content for, for instance if you talk about http pages files images similar like that so from the website so web server handles http request and responses only so this is the only category for these uh, web servers whereas if you talk about the application it's it is exposed to the business logic uh, to the clients which generates a dynamic content so that is what it is and uh, each group of servers should be in its own application security groups which is asg and uh, you should be able to rdp into the management servers but not the web servers for this we'll be writing the rule here uh, within like few minutes and uh, the web server should uh, display the IS web page which access from the website. So basically I is nothing but uh, it's internet information services which is a flexible uh, general purpose web server from the Microsoft that runs the Windows system to serve request from the HTML web pages. So saying that let's go to the objectives of the lab. So the first we'll be creating uh, the virtual network infrastructure and then we'll be deploying the virtual machines and test the network filters. So if I show you the architecture of uh, the diagram, so this is what we are going to do now. So the task one, so in this video we'll be going through the exercise one. So initially we'll be creating the group and we'll be adding a virtual network to that. and. Uh, the second task that we'll be creating is we'll be creating two application security groups and then we'll be creating an NSG and associate with the subnet. So we'll be creating an NSG which will be associated to this subnet that we have created in the task one. And uh, then we'll be creating inbound uh, NSG security rules to all the traffic to the web servers and RDP to the management servers. So let's go ahead and start. So initially we have to create the virtual network. If I go back here, if I so search for the virtual network which i already have here so i'm just clicking it so i've already created it so let me show you how this is done so let's go ahead and create and uh, here select the property subscription that you have and uh, select the resource group in this case this is the resource group that we have created so if you don't have this resource group just uh, create one and add the name here that should be fine so then coming to the name so according to the docs, the name is uh, my virtual network. However, I'll be getting error because it's already present here. So you can skip one and it should be in East US. Go to the next, which is IP address. So here it says uh, zero. So make sure it's uh, this is the range for that. And coming to the subnet, you have to add a subnet, which in this case, it's default. The name of the subnet is default. So add that and uh, this is subnet related to that, which is 10.0.0.0.24. So this is a subnet for that. And just go ahead and add. So usually when you're creating it by default, you can see here since I'm, this is the second uh, virtual network that I have creating. So that is the reason it's not showing here, but usually you can see the default settings. So once it is done, you can just go ahead and review and create it. So it will be done for you. If I go back here, so this is the one that we have created for this specific group which is in East US and the property subscription. Click this, you can see more information related to that. And uh, this is the task one. Now the task two is to create the application security groups. So for that, we have to search for application security groups, which I already have here. So you can just search for application security group. Application. And you can just click. 
already we have two different one is a uh, web service and another one is management service let's go ahead and uh, see how we can create that so it's simple and straightforward you just need to add the subscription that you have and uh, the resource group and coming to the name the first one will be the web servers so add here and uh, i'll be getting error because i have uh, it already if you want to add any tags you can do that but here just go and do and create it so once it's done the next is we have to create the management servers so it's the same just you need to change the name here so you have to change the name and then create so these are the two application security groups that you need to create so these are the two different groups that we have created so once it is done we are done with the task two now we have to uh, do the task three which is creating of nsg groups and associate it with nsg to the subnet so this is the task that we have to do so create nsg and add this to this particular subnet so for that i need to search for nsg which is network security groups which i already can see here i'm just clicking it so i already done it let me show how this is done great select the property subscription add the resource group and uh, coming to name it is my nsg and you just need to be uncreated so once it is done we have to go to the network security groups click the my nsg that we have created a few seconds ago and uh, here we have to associate our subnet so you can see we have subnet which is named default and this is subnet so we have to attach this to this particular nsg so for that we have to click associate under the subnets so you can see under settings we have a subnet section click that and you can see there is a default i've already added it that is the reason showing but uh, initially you cannot see the default you have to click associate and associate the relevant uh, subnet here so you have to select the default one and you have to click ok since it's already present i'm getting some errors but uh, when it's not present you have to do that so it's done so the task 3 is done so the next would be the task 4 so which we need to create any bound security rules to all the traffic to the web servers and rdp to the management servers so for that we have to go to the inbound security tools which you can found under uh, settings which is inbound security rules and outbound security rules so let's go to the inbound security rules and here i already added it so this will be getting the highest priority and this will be getting the lowest priority so let's go ahead and add these two rules so plus uh, add and uh, here the destination would be application security group so you can select the application security group add it and uh, now you have to add web servers which is this one and here you have to click the tcp and coming to the ports it will be 80 and 443 which is http and https so tcp allow now it shows 120 but uh, initially when you are doing it it will be 100 so it will be 100 it's already showing me error because it's already there here that's the reason but however it's need to be 100 and uh, coming to the name the name provided uh, in the github is this is the name that we have got so once it is done you can add the description if you want and click add so it will be done for you so once it is done the next rule is we have to let let us go back again and let's do so we have created the first one which is allow all web and now we have to allow all rdp for this management service so it's a similar process so we have to click the application security groups and initially we have uh, selected the ma uh, web servers now we have to select the management servers which is this one and uh, coming to the port it's 3389 since it's related to rdp and to select the tcp and which is allow so the priority will be 110 uh, by default when you're creating it right now i'm getting 120 and uh, the name of this one is done i'm getting it because it's already there if you want to add in description you can do that and just need to add it so this is how you can uh, 
create the inbound rules and uh, now we have deployed a virtual network the network security with inbound security rules and two application security groups so this is what for the exercise one and in the exercise two we'll be deploying the virtual machines and test the network filters so for this i hope you guys have understood the concept if you have liked the video please click like button below and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and thank you guys